Hello and welcome back to my channel. First, I want to thank you for supporting my channel, it truly helps me keep creating content. Please continue supporting by liking, subscribing, and if possible, watching the ads until the end. That's one of the best ways to help this channel grow. In this video, I'll show you how to turn an image into a video using a free AI tool called Kling AI. And just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. When I first started using Clo 3D, one of the most exciting features for me was its ability to create animation clips. But if, like me, your computer only meets the minimum system requirements, you've probably experienced the frustration of waiting hours or days just to generate a few seconds of video. A high-performance computer that can handle 3D animation smoothly usually costs a fortune. So, if upgrading your hardware isn't an option right now, AI tools like Kling AI can be the perfect alternative. Here's a quick background. Kling AI is a next-generation artificial intelligence software developed in China and was introduced in 2024. It specializes in turning text prompts into highly realistic, cinematic videos with advanced motion, lighting, and character rendering. The software is designed for filmmakers, designers, and creators, offering tools to produce professional quality video content without traditional cameras or crews. To get started, go to klingai.com and click Try It Now to reach the homepage. Select Sign In from the bottom left of the window. If you're a new user, you can sign up for free with your email. Once you've set up your account and logged in, you'll receive 166 free credits, which refresh every month. While Kling AI offers many features, this tutorial will focus specifically on AI video generation. So, let's get started. The first step is to prepare a high-resolution image or photo. I have designed an outfit using Clo 3D and rendered the image. Before importing it into Kling AI, you can use Clo 3D AI Face Generator to replace the avatar's face with a more realistic human face. Or, you can use Kriya AI to enhance the photo. If you'd like to learn more about Kriya AI, feel free to check out my previous tutorial. Now that the image is ready, let's head over to the Kling AI homepage. On the left panel, under AI Generation, click Video. You can choose from different versions, ranging from 1.5 to 2.5. However, the newest release comes with more limitations in the free version. For this tutorial, I'll be using version 2.1, which is the updated release from early 2025. On the AI Video Generator page, you'll find three options, text to video, image to video, and multi-elements. For this demonstration, I'll use image to video. First, upload your image into the AI video generator window. You can also import one image as the starting frame and another as the ending frame, if you want your video to finish with a specific frame. To keep things simple, I'll use just one image. 
Once the image is ready, the next part is to write the prompt. This step is very important since it directly impacts the final result of your video. When I first started using this software, I only wrote very short simple prompts. Sometimes the results were okay, but most of the time the videos looked strange. After doing some research, I developed a formula that works much better. I divide the prompt into five key sections. Number one, subject. Describe the main subject, whether it's a person, animal, or object. Use my image as example. I will put a young Caucasian female model with a short brown bob haircut. Since I'm showcasing an outfit, I will also include details about the clothing and appearance. Number 2. Motion. Explain the movement or action you want your subject to perform. Number 3. Background. Describe the environment or setting surround your subject. Number 4. Camera. Define how the camera should behave. And here are a few useful options you can write in prompt. Fixed lens. Keeps the camera still. Zoom in moves closer to the subject. Rotate, arcs around the subject. Pan, moves horizontally. Tracking shot, follows the subject. Pull back, steps away from the subject. Adding one of these camera movements can create more visual interest to your video. Besides these four elements, you can also describe lighting, mood, or special effects to set the tone of the video. Once the prompt is done, moving on to the negative prompt. This allows you to specify what you don't want in your video, helping to avoid odd or distorted results. Kling AI has listed some suggested terms like distortion, disfigurement, low quality, or blur. Adding these helps refine the output. At the bottom of the page, you can select video quality, standard or professional, video length, 5 or 10 seconds. From my experience, the professional quality option doesn't seem to make a huge difference but consumes more credits. I recommend starting with a 5-second standard quality video. If it turns out well, you can reuse the same prompt and upgrade to professional quality with longer video time. Once the prompts are done, just click Generate and wait for Kling AI to create the video. A 5-second standard quality video costs 20 credits, with longer durations or higher quality requiring more. Be sure to use your credits wisely. And here's the generated video. Pretty cool, right? Although I liked the video and its movement, I wasn't satisfied when the model's head was cut off at the end. I revised the prompts slightly and regenerated the video, but the same issue occurred. 
If you encounter a similar situation where the results keep repeating, it's best to log out of the software and sign back in, then generate the video again. Sometimes, when the Kling AI site is busy, generating a video can take several hours. A good workaround is to run it at night and check the results the next day. Unlike rendering an image or recording an animation in Clo 3D, you don't need to keep your computer on during the process. If you're not confident in writing prompts or unsure about what kind of movement you'd like to create, ChatGPT can be a great tool to help you. Simply copy and paste the prompt formula I'll provide in the description below, rewrite the idea content to match your image, and let ChatGPT generate a completed prompt for you to use on Kling AI. Once you have the prompt, just copy and paste it into Kling AI. And here's the result. The free version of Kling AI does come with some limitations. For example, it only lets you create videos up to 10 seconds long. If you want to make longer videos, you can create multiple short clips and then merge them using video editing software. By the way, all videos generated with the free version of Kling AI will include a watermark logo at bottom right corner of the frame. However, it can be easily cropped out using editing software. As AI technology continues to improve and update rapidly, the process of generating videos is becoming faster and more accessible. Still, as I mentioned before, AI generation isn't always perfect. It may take a few tries to get the exact result you're looking for. With a little practice, I'm confident you'll be able to create some truly amazing videos. In recent years, AI has begun to take over certain jobs. While that may raise concerns, the key is not to fight against it but to learn how to harness it effectively so it can work for you and create new opportunities. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it both helpful and inspiring. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.